Today we are checking out some record store day releases from Craft Recordings. And if that wasn't enough, I'm giving all of these away. Check this out. Channel 33 RPM. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. So as I said, I'm gonna show you these five, there's five records. I'm gonna show you these five records and one lucky viewer is gonna win all of these. I'll tell you towards the end of the video how to enter this contest. Of course, a big shout out to Craft Recordings for sending these over and for sponsoring this contest. I've done, I've lost track. I don't know, five or six or seven or 55 videos. I'm exaggerating. I've done a ton of videos with Craft Recordings where they send me their record store day releases. We check them out, we talk about them, and then I give them away. The ones I'm gonna show you today, I'm not giving we're gonna open these up, we're gonna look. These aren't the ones that are gonna to go to the winner. The winner is gonna get brand new sealed copy sent directly to them. Before I get into this, one more thing I need to tell you. Craft Recordings was initially supposed to put out 10 releases this record store day, but due to a variety of issues, which we all know about like um, delays at pressing plants and all that stuff, five of the 10 Craft Recordings releases have been pushed to the June drop date, which is too bad because there were some good titles on there. Um, however, this gives us more chance to save up to buy those other titles. There's some really good ones here today too, so let's check these out. All right, the first one, and this one I'm really excited about because, well, this is the Jazz, I'll tell you what it is first. This is the Jazz Dispensary release. This is a compilation. And last record store day, I think it was the Black Friday one, there was no Jazz Dispensary release, which was disappointing because there's almost always a Jazz Dispensary release on record store day. So I'm, I got some notes here. This one is called Super Skunk on opaque red vinyl limited to 5,800 copies. This is a brand new blend, according to the description, that's hard on the drums and horns and easy on the ears. Um, Super Skunk will take listeners on the ultimate groove trip, zigzagging between hard bop soul jams and rhythmic meditations. Super Skunk, I think we all know what that means, right? Pop this on and chill out. I, I've previewed this one, I listened to this one. I haven't listened to all of these yet because I just got them today and recording this. But I have listened to this one. I dig the album cover. And I'll show you inside. There's the back. And here is the insert. And I'll show you the record. You know, again, these are just groovy. I mean, they call it jazz dispensaries. But is it really jazz? That's the question. I mean, it's it's groovy, it's funky. Uh, it's mostly instrumental, but it's not, not all instrumental. And yeah, sure, there's elements of jazz in here as well. Anyway, this is always one of my favorites. Uh, jazz dispensary, super skunk. Here's another one I was uh, quite excited about. This is Art Pepper. Art Pepper meets the Rhythm Section Mono Edition 180 gram. I've listened to this one as well, and this one sounds fantastic, just like the uh, the Jazz Dispensaries one did. Um, what does it say here? All analog mastering from the original tapes by Bernie Grunman, right? That's pretty cool. And um, this is a really thick, this is really nicely done. This is a really thick cardboard jacket album artwork it's crisp it's really nice comes in a poly sleeve quality record pressings anyway this one is great what can i tell you about this check it out this is a cool story it says uh, according to jazz lore on the morning of january 19th 1957 the esteemed alto saxophonist art pepper woke up to learn that he was booked for a session just hours later with miles davis's highly respected rhythm section despite feeling utterly unprepared pepper gave the performance of a lifetime the resulting album this one, Art Pepper Meets the Rhythm Section, stands as a landmark title in his extensive catalog and is a testament to all the musicians' incredible talents. Yeah, this one's jazz, old school jazz, 
great, great record. I do highly recommend this one. I got a few more records to show you and I wish I'd, I'd had more time. I haven't previewed, I haven't listened to these ones. Actually, I'm dropping this video on a Tuesday. It was supposed to go up on Sunday, like three days ago, but there was a weather event here, which um, delayed the shipment of these records to me, which is why I'm posting this video on a Tuesday, in case you're wondering. All right, this one, seven inch. Let me pull up my cheat notes here. Seven inch, Vince Guaraldi. I don't know, I, I, I always get tongue tied with his name. Vince Guaraldi Trio baseball theme, seven inch on white vinyl. This is the first seven inch pressing ever of baseball theme. And here's the record itself, the story behind this one. Um, this was a cue that was intended for a sequence devoted to Charlie Brown's ill-fated efforts on the ball field. I know there's uh, always a ton of fans of, of this sort of stuff and the artwork is pretty cool. There's the front, there's the back. All right, what do we have up here next? This one, this is Commander, Commander Venus, The Uneventful Vacation, one LP on red and black smoke vinyl. This is indie rock from Omaha. And these guys were just teenagers when they recorded this album back in the 90s. This is the 25th anniversary. The pressing features red and black smoke vinyl and an all analog mastering from the original tapes by Kevin Gray, limited to 4,600 copies. Let's, uh, I haven't listened to this one, as I said, uh, but let's, let's crack it open and see what this record looks like. All right, so we've got liner notes, we've got images there, and this, again, is on red and black smoke vinyl. Red and black smoke vinyl, that looks just more, more red to me, doesn't it? Red and black smoke vinyl. Yeah, there's little bits of black in there, but it's, uh, it's predominantly red, I would say. And I got one more here I wanna show you. Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers, Modern Lovers 88, 1LP, Hot Nights, Hot Nights Sky Blue. That's the color of this one. If you're not familiar with Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers, uh, Jonathan first emerged in the early 70s as the quirky frontman of the Boston prototype, proto-punk band, The Modern Lovers. Those guys are heavily influenced by Velvet Underground. Um, they disbanded in 74. Over the next decade, um, Richmond reassembled several iterations of the band under the moniker Jonathan Richmond and The Modern Lovers and moved away from the harder electric sound of the earlier days. This is his final album with the band released in 1987. It's called Modern Lovers 88, limited to 7,000 units worldwide. And again, mastered from the original tapes by Kevin Gray. Let's crack this one open. Now, this is an artist I, I'm not very familiar with, but I posted about this on the socials and a lot of people indicated that they were um, pretty excited about this one as well. And there is the color of the record. All right, you saw all the records there. Now I will tell you what you gotta do to um, to win one of these. So all you gotta do was a few things you gotta do. You gotta be subscribed to channel 33 RPM. You have to be subscribed to Craft Recordings YouTube channel. So subscribe to those two channels and then leave a comment below this video confirming that you are subscribed to those two channels. And also let me know which of these albums that I showed you are you most excited about? Which one of these would you like to own the most? That's all you gotta do, three simple steps. Um, okay, here's the nitty gritty of it all. The contest closes in one week on Tuesday, April 26 at uh, 11.59 a.m. Uh, I will draw one winner, one winner randomly and I will announce the winner in a video on this channel on Friday, April 29th. Now you gotta watch that video. I will announce the winner and that winner will have three days to get back to me or a new winner will be drawn. That's it. You, it doesn't matter where in the world you live, you can enter this contest. So good luck to all of you and uh, enjoy Record Store Day coming up this Saturday. And uh, check out these craft recordings releases on Record Store Day if you do happen to see them. Good luck, everyone. And I will uh, report back, as I said, coming up on uh, April 29th with the name of the winner. Good luck.